This is to illustrate that the high pressure pump receives enough water, that the chamber in front of the plunger is filled with water and that the high pressure cleaner functions properly. And here another more simplified view. In the event of insufficient water, a vacuum or negative pressure is produced. This causes the release of air and gases which are normally bound in the water as well as cavitation. And by the way, the higher the temperature, the faster this process takes place. This mixture of air and gas is compressed, causing the high pressure cleaner to function improperly. Seals and gaskets are destroyed. Therefore, make sure to use water with temperatures not exceeding 60 or 70 degrees Celsius, according to equipment, and an admission pressure of approximately 2 bar. Insufficient water may also cause control piston and check valve body seals to be damaged. The pump does not switch back to the pressureless circuit, the hand wheel can be moved backward and forward and the pressure gauge shows full pressure. Damages caused by cavitation appear first to the O-rings. So that you can compare to the left are new O-rings, the other O-rings have been damaged. If you do not change the oil seals in good time, transmission damages can also occur. Plunger guides can be destroyed and plungers can be damaged. And as a result, the running area of the plungers can also be damaged. Condition of damages provides information about the causes. Cavitation can also lead to damages to bearing.